everyone. So what I'm going to show you today is a quick cleanse, exfoliation and mask routine that you can use yourselves at home um, to give your skin more radiance, help with nourishment um, and just a nice little pamper for you whilst we're all in this lockdown period. I'm going to be using Orgino products because they're the only products I have at home that I work with within the salon. Um, so I will talk to you a little about the products and also the application and the removal of all of them. Okay, so you can see that I've got no makeup on apart from a little bit of eyebrow pencil first of all. I'm going to go straight into the cleansing. I'm not going to cleanse my eyes because I've already done this beforehand. Um, with cleansing it is a very, very important, even if we haven't got makeup on it's still important to cleanse our skin to remove the dirt and oil that's built up throughout the day okay um, what I'm going to start off with is actually using a bioxygine um, foaming cleanser so you can see it comes out already as a foam I'm just going to sort of lather it up a little bit in my hands and then I'm going to work it all over the face I take mine over my lips as well if I've had lipstick on if you feel it's a little bit dry on the skin a little bit of water and that will lather it all up. I quite like to start at my neck, important to oh, treat your neck also, um, especially if you do take makeup generally down there or you're blending your foundations or tinted moisturisers, very important to remove. So with your cleanser, you just want to do nice little upward circular movements all over the face, take it through your eyebrows if you do have eyebrow pencils on, all over the forehead. Remember to get into the creases of the noses as well, very important, a lot of um, oil and dirt tends to harvest there. All around the eyes. All over the chin. Now when you're removing your cleansers, you can use um, cotton wool, you can use flannels, you can use mitts. I'm going to use a, a nice warm muslin to remove. So I've got a nice little bowl of water within my sink and I'm going to use my muslin to remove this. Okay. Make sure you wash the products off your hands as well. So I'm just going to wrap it around my hand. still foaming up on my face as well. So rinse your muslin again. And you want to make sure that all that product is off the skin. We've all got the time to make sure that it is off. You do want to tone at this point just to make sure that all the cleanser is removed so our toners are good for refreshing the skin um, there's all different ones on the market some are more energizing some help to wake up the skin than do I'm just going to remove it just to make sure that I've got all my cleanser off okay I'm going to go on to our exfoliator. So I'm using the Gommage Grain de Clap Parfait. Now this um, exfoliator does have grains in it, so it's more of a manual exfoliator. We're just going to spread it all over the skin. It's also got sheer butter in there, so it is very, very nourishing as well. If you've got more of a sensitive skin type, there are different ones on the market that are more chemical um, based exfoliators. So they don't actually have any man-made or synthetic grains in there. So it's less abrasive on the actual skin. They tend to have fruit enzymes or fruit acids which gently break down intercellular glue that's holding our dead skin cells together on the very, very top layer of our skin. So the point of an exfoliator is to aid the removal of dead skin cells that are continually renewing themselves and shedding off the skin. This helps to increase radiance, increases the circulation of the blood and the lymph, bringing fresh nutrients, fresh oxygen to the surface of the skin. 
and also it's removing that barrier of built up their skin cells so actually your products can absorb more efficiently and effectively into the skin as well. For congested areas such as areas of chin, nose, forehead, maybe if you're suffering with a few more blackheads, work around those areas a little bit more. So we're just using small circular movements, again in an upward motion, so you're pushing your skin always upwards, never downwards, so we don't want to aid aging on the skin. Across the forehead, and I'd quite like to go around the eyes. If you want to do a few little drains whilst you're doing that, you can. If you start to feel the exfoliator going a bit dry on your skin, dampen your hands in your water, and then carry on working. So we want to do our exfoliation once to twice a week, and you want to exfoliate for a minute to two minutes at a time. If your skin does start to feel quite sore, if erythema, so if redness on the skin starts to appear, then stop your exfoliation. Remove with your muslin or your warm flannel or mist. So if your skin's looking dull, it needs an injection of life, your exfoliator is your first go-to product. Just finish, a few little wire circles, and then if you want to have your therapeutic touch, pressure at the temples and remove. Again, remove all of the product. be the dead skin cells where they are being lifted off the skin. So you can see there already on my skin the circulation has increased particularly around the chin and the nasal area and across the forehead. Okay once you feel like you've removed it all then we're gonna to tone the skin, again, to make sure that we've got all the exfoliator off and then we're ready for the next part. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit out onto my cotton wool pads. I'm gonna to use two to spread the product again, squeeze them together, and I'm gonna start up the neck, working upwards, taking them out. You need to do again if you feel like there's still product, turn the cotton pads over and then repeat the process again. Okay. We're then going to block the skin, so using a tissue, make a little hole insert into there and we're going to place onto the floor, press down. And make sure you do the neck. Go around the hairline, if you feel a little bit around your nose still, and just dust off if you are using a grainy exfoliator to remove all of that there. Okay, so that is my lovely cleansed and exfoliated skin. So what I'm going to do is move straight on to our mask. Now, I always love using an eye mask. My eyes always get some very, very dehydrated. I'm using a gel one. I'm using mask here from the Gino range. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that under the brow, underneath the eye, and work it out to the crow's feet as well. Now, gels are excellent for puffy eyes. If you want to do a few drainage movements, you can. Working the lymph out towards your lymph nodes in front of your ears. Now I'm going to use two masks today, as you can see I've got a big spot on my forehead unfortunately, 
So I'm going to use a Clarins product. I'm going to use the Pure and Radiant Mask. And I'm going to pop that onto the area where my spot is. But that's a good thing with masks. You can use a whole different combinations of different types to suit different areas. So for example, if you had an oily Tito, you could use an oily purifying one. If your skin was a little bit more dehydrated, you could use a more dehydrating one out on the cheeks and up on the neck. I'm gonna use Gino's Mask Essential. This is a lovely product, excellent for dry skins, um, sensitive skins. Um, it's a clay-based one, so it's non-setting. Um, with it, it has got rosemary, lavender, and thyme in there, so it's excellent for nourishing, it's excellent for calming, really lovely one to have a soak in the bath with. It's also got your menthol in there as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread this all over the face. Now you can use your fingertips, or if you want to, if you've got mask brushes at home, you can use a mask brush to apply as well. I like to put this one over my lips, all around my nostrils, particularly if you have had colds, really good to nourish chap skin, under my eyes over my eyebrows. And there we go. We have 10 minutes to 15 minutes to go off, relax, lie down, put some cucumber slices on. You could go and read a magazine, make dinner. It doesn't matter if it's on over the 10, 15 minutes. I always quite like to leave mine on 30. It's completely up to you. Lie down, relax, and take it easy. Enjoy. Okay, so I've gone off, I've made myself a nice cup of tea, and I am now ready now to remove my mask. So again, I've got a nice filled up sink of warm water. I've washed my muslin, and I'm gonna remove that product now off the skin, okay? So with non-setting masks, sometimes they can be a lot harder to remove off the skin that's why it's important that you don't use too much product to start with always check what the recommended guidelines are obviously from different product ranges they will be slightly different so you can see there after rum removal how much has actually come off you can also see the stimulation within the skin as well from all of the active aromatherapy ingredients so that's excellent so really brightening the skin, nourishing, which watch I definitely needed, especially after all the gorgeous weather we've been having in the sun. So really this routine is excellent to use when your skin is feeling dull. You need a bit of a kick, you need some life back in it, you need to treat it. So once to twice a week is perfect. Sometimes doing it too much can overstimulate the skin, so I always tend to just do a maximum of twice a week. Good before any special occasions. At the moment, if you've got any Zoom meetings and you need to let your skin look a little bit fresher, perfect. Okay, make sure it's even removed in the hairline if you've got it in the hairline. There we go, and that's all the product removed. So to finish off, what I'm gonna do is again, I'm gonna to tone the skin just to make sure that I've removed all of the um, mask and product so there's no sort of barriers there left on the skin. Again, I'm gonna go onto a cotton pad. I'm gonna work that all over. Make sure you go around the nostrils, that's usually the area where it will tend to be left. Again with a nice clean tissue, make a little hole in the tissue, pop onto the face and block dry on the skin. Move down. So if you have in-house salon facials, you'll probably find your therapist doing this to you. And I'm just going to wipe round just the smaller crevices. Okay. And there is my 
my skin's completely refreshed. So to finish off your cleanse toes and moisturize routine at home, then what you're gonna do is then apply a little bit of eye cream. I'm gonna use an eye gel. Now you want a, a sort of a grain size of rice, and then we're just gonna dot it all around eye contour. So use the eye bone as a gauge. You don't wanna to go too close up to the eye or down onto the actual lids next to your lashes because what will happen is the skin is so fine, you'll find that it will leak into the eyes, cause irritation, but cause, could cause more puffiness than you have. So I'm just gonna go all around. You wanna do a little bit of treatment just to wake your eyes up. If you're feeling tired, relaxed, energize yourself. And then I'm gonna finish off with my Gino Creme Hydrosummum. So Hydrosummum is excellent just for hydration, giving them radiance and replenishing the water in your skin. So if your skin is dehydrated, you're lacking the water. I tend to sort of do it on my hands. That's probably too much. Take it onto the neck. And again, I'm just gonna massage that into the skin. If you do have any excess product, what I tend to do is usually is I like to stick it across my decollete. And that is your at home cleanse tone exfoliate mask and moisturise. Enjoy your pamper. Take care.